Hello, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Jesse the Planets. I know you're enjoying our YouTube videos. That's why you don't want to miss anything. So like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit that notification bell so you will know when we post new content. That's like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Do it now, so watch this. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for tuning in to Faith the Facts, man. I tell you, I enjoy coming into wherever you are. You know, you might be in your home or watching somewhere. It's such a blessing of God, and I thank you for watching this little five-minute segment. I want to talk about something. I'm going to ask you a question. Do you have some serious problems? Let me ask you again. Do you have some serious problems? You're probably going, mm-hmm, yeah. Well, God has some serious answers. See, if there's a problem, there's an answer. All, and an answer is always bigger than a problem because it encapsulates it and destroys it. But people say, well, how do I get my answer? Ah, just happened that since you asked that question. <laughs> Matthew chapter 7, verses 7 and 8. I love this scripture. It says, ask, and it shall be given. It didn't say it might be. Church world says it might be. Religion says it might be. Jesus says, ask, and it shall be given. Seek, and you shall find. Now you hear people say, well, yeah, you never know. You don't go out there, you ain't going to find it. Jesus said, you shall find. Knock, and it shall be open you. And they'll say, ain't no use to knock, ain't nobody home. Always somebody giving you some excuse. For everyone that asketh, Notice it said everyone, not someone, not certain people. Everyone that asketh, receiveth. And he that seeketh, a goal, do something, findeth. And to him that knocketh, it shall be opened. Now, one translation says, ask and keep on asking. Seek and keep on seeking. Knock and keep on knocking. See? In other words, it's, you have to do these things because you've got serious problems. This is God with a serious answer. Well, I'm trying, brother. Trying don't get nothing done. Trying don't, try, try is not a good word. Do is. Be ye therefore doers of the word. Second Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14. If my people, are you one of the peoples of God? <laughs> That's not a good English. Or a person of the, if my people, which are called by my name. Do you know the name of the Lord? The Bible said his name is a strong tower. Let me say it again. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves. You waiting for God to humble you? Uh-uh. You have to humble yourself and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Now that's a whole sermon right there, boy. Then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land. Not only will he forgive you your sin, if you got problems in your land, or in other words, what it takes to sustain you in this life, spiritually, physically, financially, God said he'll heal it. Yeah, but you don't realize how much in debt I am. You ain't going, I mean, you don't know, how, this is a serious problem. Well, God's got serious answers, but you have to do these things. Second Chronicles 7, verse 14, while he was talking to Israel, you're the seed of Abraham, ladies and gentlemen. God's no respect to person. Jesus talking in Matthew 7, 7, 8, ask, seek, find, knock, you'll receive, you'll find it, and it will be open to you. This, I don't mean to sound arrogant, this happens to me all the time, constantly. I'm asking, I'm seeking, and I'm finding. Yeah. Some people say, well, well, why? Because God wants me to do these jobs. He's giving me projects upon projects upon projects. And, you know, and people are always asking me, you've heard me say it so many times, when are you going to retire? Well, do I look tired? <laughs> I may look tired. I don't know. I don't think it's in my DNA. I really don't. I mean, I don't mind. I could retire a long time ago. But you know what? I'm asking and keep on asking, seeking, keep on seeking, knocking, keep on knocking. And what I'm doing is God says, Jesse will do the work. And he gives me the strength 
to do it physically. Most people say, man, I can't stand with that man. And, and I said, well, I appreciate you saying that, but it's the Lord, see? And the joy of the Lord is my strength. That's why I'm a happy man. So I stay strong with the word joy. So you got some serious problems? I just get, God just gave you a serious answer. Do that today. Do it today. When you finish watching this, do it. And watch God answer your prayer. Until next week, we love you. Bye-bye. This media is copyrighted by Jesse Duplantis Ministries for the private use of our audience. Any other use of this media or of any pictures or accounts without Jesse Duplantis Ministries' consent is strictly prohibited.